everyone! Welcome to Storytime. My name is Caitlin and today we're at the Port Alberni branch of the Vancouver Island Regional Library. Now before we get started with today's story time and maybe based on some of the books I have, you can guess what we're going to be talking about. We're going to start with our hello song. So if you're new to our hello song, we're going to go through all of the signs so that we can all sing it together at the end. So our first sign is hello and to do that we're going to pretend like we're giving a salute. Can you do that with me? Salute and sign hello to me. Wonderful. So our next sign is friends. and It's gonna be like our two pointer fingers are giving each other a hug twice. So one, two, and that's our sign for friends. Our next sign is it's time. And to do that, we're just gonna to point to our wrist like we're wearing a watch and say, it's time. And then our final sign to say, our hand is gonna come out from our chin like this. So all together, our signs are hello, friends, it's time to say. I'm gonna go back through those one more time. So we have hello, friends, it's time to say. All right, are we ready to sing it? All right, sing with me. Hello, friends, hello, friends. Good job. So hello everybody. Welcome to another story time. I hope you're having a wonderful week enjoying some of the lovely weather we have. So can anyone guess based on the color I'm wearing and some books over here what we might be talking about at today's story time? Any ideas? That's right. We're talking about frogs. So does anyone know anything about frogs? So I know a couple things about frogs. I know, let's see, that they're amphibians. They lay eggs that then hatch into tadpoles. They can hop really, really far. Do you know some frogs can actually jump 20 times their size? Could you imagine if I could jump 20, size, 20 times my size? That would be a long way. I could jump across the library. <laughs> and also, since it's almost June, you might start seeing tadpoles or baby frogs. They're called froglets in the ponds around your house. So those little frogs and even the tadpoles, they'll grow into full-size frogs over the summer. So our book today is all about frogs. And this is, these are very specific frogs that you're probably more likely to see around your house. So this book is Liliana and the Frogs. And this is written and illustrated by Scott Ritchie and it's published by Harbor Publishing Company. Liliana and the Frogs, written and illustrated by Scott Ritchie. So you can see right on the cover, there's Liliana and all of the frogs. I wonder what's gonna happen in this book. Chorus frogs are very small, just like Liliana. Can you see Liliana? Right there in the forest, she is pretty small. Chorus frogs sing at night. Liliana loves to listen. Croak, croak, croak. Have you ever heard frogs at night? Do you listen to them like Liliana does? I like hearing frogs at night. Horse frogs are hard to find, but Liliana has a plan. So Liliana's got a jar there. What do you think she's gonna do with that jar? Just to keep reading and find out. Chorus frogs hide under leaves. Then Liliana sees them. The wind comes and goes, whoosh! And then can you see all of those frogs that were hiding under the leaves? Look at them all. That's a lot of frogs. Chorus frogs are hard to catch, but that won't stop Liliana. So what did Liliana do with her jar? That's right, she caught the chorus frogs in it. I wonder what she's gonna do with them. I think she's taking them to her house. 
Carrots frogs need to eat. Liliana knows what to feed them. Do you know what frogs eat? What do frogs like to eat? Flies, bugs, that's right. That's what Liliana's got in her little jar there. Looks like she's got some flies. Chorus frogs are very small. Oh no, says Liliana. Where'd all the frogs go? They escaped. Oh no. Does that mean we have frogs in the house? The chorus frogs have disappeared. Liliana needs to find them. Hmm. Do you see any of the chorus frogs on this picture? Anywhere? Is it on Liliana's bed? Or, oh, there's one hopping out the door. Chorus frogs move very fast. Liliana asks. Do you see any more frogs on this page? I see two frogs. Can you find them? Right, there's one down here in the corner and there's one up here on the door. Croak! Chorus frogs are very loud. Stop! So is Liliana. A bunch more frogs in the kitchen now. Yeah, there's a lot more frogs in this picture. Chorus frogs are everywhere. Come back, shouts Liliana. Oh no, look at how many frogs are in Liliana's kitchen. There's a lot. Let's see if we can count them. So let's see, we've got one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. We have fourteen frogs in the kitchen. Do frogs belong in kitchens? No, I don't think so either. Whoosh! Chorus frogs sense the wind, and Liliana holds her breath. What do you think the chorus frogs are going to do when they feel the wind? Chorus frogs know where they belong. Now Liliana knows too. Chorus frogs went back to their home right where they belong. Chorus frogs need pond and forest. Welcome home, says Liliana. So we should always keep the frogs in the pond. That's where they belong, that's what their home is. And that is the end of Liliana and the Frogs. Do you like that story? I liked that book. So now we've read about frogs, now I wonder if you can be frogs with me. So we're gonna sing, if, you, if you're happy and you know it, but instead of if you're happy and you know it, we're gonna change up the words and it's gonna be if you're a frog and you know it. So our first one is we're gonna jump up and down. I'm gonna jump in my chair just cause I'm a little bit taller, but if you want to jump up and down and stand up or hop around the floor like a frog, you can do that. You can jump in your chair like I'm going to do. So our first one is, if you're a frog and you know it, jump up and down. <laughs> if you're a frog and you know it, jump up and down. If you're a frog and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're a frog and you know it, jump up and down. So our next one is we're going to catch a fly. So you can stick your tongue out. You can catch it with your mouth. If you're a frog and you know it, catch a fly. If you're a frog and you know it, catch a fly. If you're a frog and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're a frog and you know it, catch a fly. If you're a frog and you know it, make puppy cheeks. If you're a frog and you know it, make puppy cheeks. If you're a frog and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're a frog and you know it, make puppy cheeks. If you're a frog and you know it, say ribbit, ribbit. If you're a frog and you know it, say ribbit, ribbit. If you're a frog and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're a 
throw a frog in, you know, let's say ribbit, ribbit. Good job, everybody. I think we got a few frogs watching story time with us today. That was really good. So, I think we have time for one more song today. So we're gonna let my song cube choose our final song. We're gonna give it a toss. Well, what's today's song? Oh, I think it's Twinkle Twinkle Little Star today. Get out your stars. This is perfect for frog story time because sometimes we can hear the frogs when the stars are out. Get out your stars. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Very nice, everybody. So. We are at the end of our frog story time. I hope you had a lot of fun. And let me know if you see any frogs around. So before we go, all that's left to do is sing our goodbye song. So it's just like our hello song. The only sign that we're gonna change is now instead of saluting hello, now we're just going to wave goodbye. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Thank you for joining me for Frog Story Time today. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you again soon.